Hello everybody, welcome back to B10X. I am Narendra and today we have an exciting topic lined up for you. Excel data analysis with AI algorithms. Before we dive into the fascinating world of data analysis, I want to share something special with you. B10X is hosting an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. If you are someone using Excel in your day-to-day -day job, let me tell you something, you are going to be replaced unless you are integrating AI in your Excel. If you integrate AI in your Excel workflow, let me tell you something, you are going to be 10x more productive and you will be getting that promotion that you deserve. If you want to learn all this, join me for my 2 hours workshop on Excel using AI. In this video, we'll be diving deep into the students performance in exams data set which we took from Kaggle and with the help of Excel and ChatGPT we aim to uncover valuable insights about the factors influencing academic success. So let's get started. To begin let's take a quick look at our data set. We are dealing with the data on students performance in exams and the columns include gender, race and ethnicity, parental level of education, lunch, test preparation course, math score, reading score and writing score. Let's understand the basic information of the data like min, max, mean, and standard deviation etc that means we are going to get the descriptive statistics of math score column reading score column and writing score column so let's do that now i'm going to take help of start gpt I want all these formulas in one line. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT for that. So math score is in F column. So we are having total 1000 students data. We can cross check that. Here you can see 1000 one is the last column so I am going to specify here now I am going to copy the formula um, let's paste it here okay here you can see the mean value median value mode value minimum value and maximum value of uh, math score column okay uh, we can do the same thing for reading column as well as for writing score column i will do that As you can see, we are having descriptive statistics for reading score. So here you can see for math score, the minimum value is 0, max is 100. For reading score, we are having minimum value 17 and maximum value 100. So let's find descriptive statistics for writing score also. As you can see, we got the descriptive statistics of the three columns. Now we are going to explore math score first. What we are going to do is we are going to get the data like how many students got passed in 
math subject okay so what we are assuming pass marks equals to 40 so we are going to follow this thing only so let's ask chat gpt Here you can see the formula. Let's copy the formula and I'm going to paste it here. Now I'm going to change the column name also to max underscore pass status. So same thing I'm going to do for reading score and writing score okay now you can see we got total three columns so now we are going to count the number of students who passed in math subject and failed and same thing for reading and writing subject also so we are going to copy the third formula here you can see in math subject there are 960 students passed and 40 students failed Here you can see in reading subject 974 students passed and 26 students failed. Now you can see in writing subject 968 students passed and 32 students failed. Now let's take a moment to talk about the changing landscape of the job market. AI is rapidly transforming industries and we have witnessed a wave of layoffs but here is the thing AI won't replace you the person using AI will if you want to stay ahead of the curve and secure your career consider joining our Microsoft Office using AI tools workshop we'll teach you about the best AI tools to upskill increase your productivity and enhance your career click the link in the description to make your future secure with us now let's check overall past status of the students so now i'm going to copy this formula okay as you can see we got the output let's change the column name to overall underscore pass status okay now let's check the number of students who passed and number of students who got failed so let's use this both the formulas here 952 students got passed and 84 students got failed overall so let's find the percentage let's find the percentage of each student as you can see so let's copy this one Here 
I just have to change the column name here F G H as you can see we got the percentage last thing we are going to do is we are going to get the grades for the students okay here we have to keep one thing in our mind if a student failed in overall pass status then he will get f grade that means he failed if a student gets pass status in overall pass status then only he'll be getting a b c d e grades So let's copy the formula here. Here you can see he got failed in one subject and his overall status is failed and he also got F grade. Okay. Let's keep this column as grade. So now we are going to do only one thing we are going to plot based on parental level of education and grade so for that what i am going to do is i am going to select the entire data then i am going to click on insert here pivot table in new worksheet okay here i am going to drag parental level of education in rows and grade in values so now you can see the pivot table so for better understanding i am going to click on pivot chart here you can see the data that's it for now as we wrap up this insightful analysis I hope you have gained valuable knowledge about Excel data analysis with AI algorithms. If you found this video informative, do like, comment and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content. And remember to ensure your career remains resilient in the age of AI. Check out our exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll see you there. Thank you.